What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Be sure to check out HelloFresh. It's right up there. And we're going to do Cabal and Stip. Cabal and Stip is confidence in your confidant. He, he named it. Like, a, like, it's, like it's a short novella that he's writing. Do at your leisure, no rush. Me love you long time. Hello, fresh rocks. Also mayonnaise. Dark confident over everything, then fixing and power. Uh, then all cards that can hurt you when played or cast. So this is a damage. Damage taken step. So I, I, I'm going to lean towards this porcelain legionnaire if we're forced to take cards that are damaging to us. I don't love it, but, you know, nothing else is going to deal damage to us, right? I mean, this guy does, but this guy at least keeps us open a little bit. Let me get that second pick Dark Confidant. I'll feel really cool about that. Mm. Also, just so you guys know, Mountain Dew Spark, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Spark to be exact, is literally one of my favorite Mountain Dew flavors that's ever been released. It's like a Mountain Dew lemonade. And it's just... Just fantastic. I love it. None of these cards hurt me. Oh, one veto per pack? I like that. That's nice. Like, I, I usually think a lot of Mountain Dew flavors taste similar. Maybe I just take Sun Titan. Yeah, I'll just take Sun Titan. Oh, Mana Crypt? I mean, I wanted the Mana Drain, but Mana Crypt is actually better and on theme. So, Mana Crypt it is. Yeah, like, I'm like Code Red, Pitch Black. They're all kind of like overly sweet and they don't really... I don't know, they're kind of fine. But like when I tasted this, I was like, this is very good. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Spark with a blast of raspberry lemonade. I was like, that's, now you're talking my language. Okay, so nothing here is dealing us damage. Could take Metal Worker, we have two artifacts already. I do like Major Melon Zero as well. Um, but, you know, it's funny because after a while, Major Melon started just tasting like candy to me. I was like, this is this is too melony. I want to take Metal Worker because I think it's good. It's a good reason to take a card, right? Sylvan Library deals us damage. Yeah, let's just take the Sylvan Library. I don't think Hops deals us damage, but Sylvan Library definitely does. See, now the Metal Worker's feeling weird. Um, you don't do anything. Uh, Phyrexian Metal Worker's actually perfect. Yeah, that's good. Come on, if you just tell me all the picks to take, it doesn't really count. <laughs> then I'm just on autopilot. There he just kind of just on here. Discard your all the top cards of your library. Play lands. So I pay a life with that guy. It's just a matter of like. Oh no, I'm I'm not gonna. Well, we gotta let me find it though. You know, give me the chance to to, to miss it at least. Um. Yeah, I guess Gix is actually fine. We could just be. At, oh, we did it! All right, Dark Confidant's in. Whew. Oh boy! Wow! All right, I'm gonna put this guy in the sideboard for now. I really hope that Abzan land comes back. Never cut the tins. <laughs> Well, you know, unless it's unless your oncologist recommends it, you know. Um, Danto Vanguard actually now seems perfect. I mean, we can even cut someone library and just be black white. 
Dark Confident plus six drop is what we want. Oh, what up, Neil P? Dude, I mailed Rob a webcam on Saturday at like noon. And it got there today. I'm in Denver. He's in Florida. That's actually surprisingly quick. Oh, I like a Savannah here. Yeah, Savannah's great for us. Um, Skull Clamp seems like it could be good here. Sure, I'll take an Iona. What the hell? All right. Um, actually, Skyclave Shade seems good. Damn, I'm really sad that land didn't come back. I don't know what followage means as far as commands go. All right, for one pack, I think this this went pretty well. Follow age. Follow ASL. Guessing how long you've been following. Oh, follow age. Interesting. I can click. Uh, if I click on your... It says following since January 6, 2014. <laughs> so only eight years, Ben. <laughs> yeah, we're we're only going on a decade here. Also, thanks for the for the support, buddy. Uh, do any of these cards deal us damage? I wonder if Urza Saga is worth taking. Saga gets Crypt and Skull Clamp and maybe like a Retrofit or Foundry if we pick one up. I also haven't been able to play a Saga yet, so that's kind of cool. Oh, Galda Shrine. I think we're just snap taking Galda Shrine and there's no way it can't count towards the Stip as well, so that's convenient. Um, I feel like in the white-black decks, and I've, I've said this multiple times, you always want... Uh, lots of fixing because there's tons of double white, double black cards. Drink that. Dr I am drinking it. I don't know what you do with drinks, but. <sighs> no, Michael B. wears his drinks. So nothing here deals us damage, which is. I always, I always, I'm like, that's nice because then it's kind of like a freebie. I think Lauren of the Third Path is probably great here, right? Is Call any good? Um, I think it's fine. Oh, Fiery Islet. Uh, that feels like it probably shouldn't count, right? Uh, okay. Scalding Tarn. Is that a card we can... I guess it does. Hmm. So nothing great here, but like a Thalia. I mean, again, we have the situation with like Water Grave and Scalding Tarn, but like... I do want to make sure we have enough playables to actually have a deck as well. Yeah, I'm going to take this just because like all of these are creatures. And... 
you know, this hurts me emotionally when we're not able to cast our non-creature spells. This is a late Oko. So nothing in here hurts me when Plater casts. I'm going to take this Oko, and you know what? We have a Savannah, and if that Water Grave comes back, we're taking that. But none of these other cards are really any good. Followed by a Euro. I don't understand. Again, nothing that deals damage. So that's that's kind of good. It gives us some freebies. Um, I'm almost tempted to take Spara's headquarters just so we can cast this this Oko. Are we just like four color white or four color black? Maybe we're four color green. Who knows? Also, getting back Oko with Sun Titan is pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take the headquarters. I feel like I'm kind of leaning into this now, and no red. Um, no red, he says, and then there's a Ragavan. Maybe we just go red, too. I wish this was a Noble Hierarch. I'd take that, but we'll take a Prismatic Vista, which also kind of tangentially fits the theme. You don't do anything, right? You're good, but... I mean, I feel like fixing is kind of important now. No damage from anything. Skyclave is good, especially if you're just recurring it with a Sun Titan. So Sundering Titan is going to be uncastable, right? Like, we're just never going to get to that much mana. Um, Let's take Breeding Pool. Hmm. I feel like we're Abzan Splash Blue, right? <laughs> Let's take Mother of Runes here. No, 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 no. Yeah, cool. No, 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 no. I'll take a Bone Shards. I'd like to have a Planeswalker removal. Plus, you can just discard a card that you can get back with Sun Titan later. If Sun Titan's the top of our curve, that's actually not bad. Our mana base is actually pretty surprisingly good, considering that we're trying to be four colors here. God, watch us win with this deck again. Also, not the plague. I was, I was having, uh, I was having the desire to do a five color planeswalker deck. So I'm glad that that's conveniently your step. Also, guys, we have like eight more days of HelloFresh sponsorship. So definitely consider subscribing. Uh, I mean, if you were going to donate thirty bucks to the stream, or if you were going to support the stream in any way, you can literally get sixty dollars worth of food from HelloFresh for like thirty bucks. And then I get a sizable kickback whenever you subscribe. And you can cancel at any time if that's if that's what you want to do. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can use the code above to get eight, no, 21 free meals across your first eight deliveries. And also free shipping. So it's pretty sweet. I don't know why that bribery was there. I didn't take it because it's double black, but where I could probably just play this Woe Strider. Personally, Janeiro also goes like here. I got 10 meals for 42. Yeah, that seems pretty good. That's like $4 a meal, man. Why do they have a green lemon? Uh, I assume it's a lime. That would be my guess. This Euro came back. This is a 14th pick Euro to go with our Oko. Okay. Okay. And an Argoth. Okay. Mana Vault. That damages us. Yeah, I called it Euro. What do you call it? Euro? Euro? <laughs> okay, is it Euro or Euro? <laughs> Euro. No one calls it Euro. I can I can I can assure you of that. Canopy is, so is Mana Vault though, so I don't know. I, I worry that Mana Vault's not great in our deck though because the only thing it can really cast reliably is a Sun Titan. 
I, yeah, vetoing and getting a jit actually seems decent, especially if we find like a a stone forge mystic. Yeah, I'm taking the jitte. I think it's just I think it's just good. Plus, I like the number of two drops we have. This does. Okay. Might just be Vampiric Tutor here. Which I'm fine with. We'll take a Vampiric Tutor. Oh, we also have Skull Clamp if we did end up getting a Soul Forge Mist uh, St Stone Forge Mystic. Okay. Well, I think we have to take Soul Ring here. I don't know why it's third pick. Seal does hurt us. But I think most people consider this power, right? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I'll, I think the argument can be made that this is better than Lotus and I would take it over most moxes, so. Uh, no, 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 no. Murderous Rider damages us. So let's take that guy. Oh, I like a Badlands, except for red's the only color we're not. Zagoth's Triumph and Overgrown Tomb are both very good. Um, I think we're going to take Overgrown Tomb over Knight's Whisper here, because they both deal us two, so... Oh, Misty Rainforest. That seems very good. No damage from any of these cards. Actually, this guy makes us lose a lot. Well, it's not when you cast or play it, though. But still, could be a consideration in this deck. Oh, also we have Urza Saga to get Soul Ring, too, which is really nice. So, I mean, this actually deals us some damage and we can get, like, we can get a white source or a green or a black source with, with Overgrown Tomb. So, I think that's probably 100% correct. I mean, Bitter Blossom seems like, like it's on brand here, right? I would love this Tundra. I think it would definitely help us cast these two guys. But, you know, um, Snuff Out... Yeah, let's take a snuff out. Again, I'd like hollow ground, but snuff out seems like it's right up our alley. I'll take a Liliana. Um, yeah, nothing else is hurting us. I like a Dothy Voidwalker. I also like a Selfless Spirit. I'll take the Void Walker. Oh, the Bayou came back? Wow. I don't know. With this mana base, I kind of feel like I want Bayou. I don't think I've vetoed very much. I don't think I've gotten three vetoes. So I'll just take the Bayou and assume that it's fine. <sighs> Nothing damaging here. I'll take Necromancy. Oh, the Knight's Whisper came back. Nice. Also, that Esper Sentinel would have been great. Oh, does it say? Oh my god, I bet it says fixing. And then I, I've been like, Dark Hunt, then fixing and power. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's a great idea. That's, that's what I want to hear. Just because I, I like, the worst part of a, of a snip is like not being able to play the deck. You're like, okay, well, I can't take the, the land that helps us play our deck, so. Take this. What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say that there's not a ton of cards that actually deal us damage or, or lose life, but I honestly, like, I don't know if there are that many. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't seem like it. it's it's kind of a niche section of cards. I'm most tempted to cut the Sun Titan, but honestly, this is a solid amount of three drops. Euro does counteract the Bobby. It's a nice, it's a nice ebb and flow. Okay, so this is 27 cards. So we need four cuts. All right, let's cut Dark Confidant. <laughs> Just kidding. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, Woe Strider is always kind of meh. Um, I like Liliana, but I don't feel like she fits the, this, the, the, the theme of this deck. Also, Bitter Blossom with Skull Clamp and Jitte seems very good. One more cut? We can make one more cut. Actually, no. Yes? Yes. What's he saying? Nobody knows. Uh, and we have Mana Crypt and Soul Ring. I was thinking of sideboarding Thalia. I don't know. Like, because we have Oko, we have um, Swift End, Jitte. Like, we have a lot of cards that that are non-creatures. I could, I could get behind that. All of our lands are... This is, like, a lot of good lands. And we have two, two blue cards. Maybe two and a half, if you want to consider that. And, like, three green cards. So... Green. Okay, so black we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I do think one forest and one island are probably fine with Prismatic Vista. Uh, white, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven, eight. Okay, we don't need the white after all, huh? And by combos with, you mean comes into play untapped. <laughs> That's the payoff. Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. How many green sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Honestly, I don't think we need a forest after all. That's how many blue sources do we have? One, two, three, four. And this is seven, seven white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll do seven, nine. Actually, maybe not with the island after all. I mean, we have Misty Rainforest. The problem is, like, if we if we have Vista, like, we just can't crack it for to cast an Oko, which is kind of frustrating. Meanwhile, we have, like, enough green sources where that's not as big of an issue. Plus, we do want to be able to, to escape Euro.
I need a euro. The whole thing I forgot to the end of the night. <clears throat> Jitez, what are you saying? He's got to be green and he's got to be blue and he's got to be holding it. <laughs> wow, that's very good. That was very good. I wonder if this round is going to start though. Wouldn't that be cool? I like I like it when the round starts. Some people are like, "What's your favorite part of Magic?" and I'm like, "When the round starts." But not today. Not today, boys and girls. I don't know if HelloFresh offers Euros. Your question is good. Fascinating. What a fascinating little hand. I will keep it. Then we're gonna go mother into Vanny. Vanny? Eh, I guess we'll play that first. No reason to hurt ourselves. <laughs> but he's defying the stib. He just stole that guy's money. Um, all right. Mother of Runes being untapped here is pretty wild. I hope they try to kill Mother of Runes. No. Oh, she's never getting tapped now. I'll never tap her. You're going to have to two for one yourself. Or do like Toxic Deluge. Here we go. Toxic Deluge for one. Oh, Layla. Fascinating. Dismember. Is this an enchantment creature? No. For some reason, I thought it was. But only right this second. Never before. Never before now. Let's discard and kill you dead. Uh, I think it's Vampiric Tutor. I don't know if that's correct, but it felt okay. Mostly because we have Sylvan Library now, so we can just gain a bunch of life each turn. Or not, uh, draw a bunch of cards each turn. Maybe not each turn, but, you know. I want to keep Sun Titan because I want to actually play Sun Titan. And I think Lauren is a little more versatile. Uh, I think this is a card I can play immediately, and Vampiric Tutor, I really, I don't even know what I'd get with it right now. I don't know, maybe that's incorrect, but. Yeah, Vamp is also a two for one for yourself. And I just feel like I have enough card selection through Sylvan Library to really, like, not make it a, a big deal. Fascinating. Uh, put you on top. Keep you...
Hmm. I'm just going to pass here. We'll probably murder us right of the season Pyromancer if they attack with it. And then we can just play it next turn. Oh, he did. I drew Crassus for three, huh? Fascinating. Porcelain Legionnaire. Hmm. Actually, just want to land here. We have to start getting in there eventually, so they're going to trade with... Are they going to throw this guy in front? I might just Mother of Runes here. Because I don't feel like taking... Uh, four, four, four damage, <laughs> going to eight when they have a 3-3 three, three flyer. Plus, if they kill Mother next turn, we can just play Sudden Tightening in the back. It's almost like we're almost at a point where like we kind of want them to waste the card on something so we can get it back. Shandara. Shandara. You gonna kill Mother Runes? Because that would be great for us. I would personally enjoy that. Maybe. They did it. They did it. Because now we can double attack into Chandra and kill her. Theoretically. I'm going to take this island now. Put it on top. Put it on top. Seems fine. I guess I'll paint another white. Whoop. That seems good. Sun Titan, we're doing it. What up, Kyers? Oh, they're going to wipe the board here? Kind of. Is it worth paying four here when they have a Sun Titan? Or uh, an Inferno Titan? Probably not. Oof. Oof, Magoof. I don't want any of these cards. I mean, if they want to trade for Inferno Titan, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that seems okay. Oh, no. He said no. Okay. I mean, do I even play this? Like, it's just going to die, right? What's the point of that? What's the point of that, you know? All right. We'll just pass here. Still have three cards in their hand. What do we see? Pyromancer, Layla. Where did that chain lightning come from? Oh, they discarded it to Pyromancer. Got it. 
I'm pretty sure I'm actually going to block here because this guy just turns off most of our deck. <laughs> yeah, that seems fine. Dak Faden and a suspicious stowaway. Yeah, I don't know why they just didn't go to face there. Your question is valid. God, why don't they have any artifacts or enchantments? I don't like it. Plus they have all these unblockable creatures. Hmm. Uh, I will choose none <laughs> for obvious reasons. It's a lot. It's a lot of things. Trample and haste, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four of which I can't block. I can block here and here. Take three, four, five, six, seven, go to one. So I think that's probably going to be the end. Oof. Okay. We will concede. All right. So <clears throat> we do want to save. All right. I think Liliana is definitely good here. Lauren can be a card that we board in. It doesn't seem like it's great in this matchup. I also like... Um, I feel like there's something else I liked and now I can't find it. It's not, sideboard's not that deep. Maybe it was Vraska? Uh, not only permanent, like, but I mean, this kills a lot of things like Dak. It, yeah, actually, Vraska seems very good here. Uh, it kills Dak, it kills. Uh, all of the early things they played, including Suspicious Stowaway. And then we can save like Bone Shards and uh, Murderous Rider for things like Minsk and Boo. Oh, I definitely have no balls then. I am ballless. I mean, it, it, it sucks that they can take this with uh, Dak Faden, but they could also take Jitte, Sol Ring, Skull Clamp, or Mana Crypt. So, you know. Actually, feel like we can go 41 here. We have a lot of cheap cards and a lot of mana. And see, this is like best example. <laughs> I would actually, I guess we'll play this into Confidant. Sure, let's do that. And then we can get like a Bayou. 
Oh, what up, Franconic Disciple? <laughs> this is a fine day to be ballers. Mm, yes. Uh, a couple spoilers have caught my eye, but I don't know their names or what they are right now, so. But also, Jimmy, I hope your little buddy's doing better. That's interesting. Man, between Mana Crypt and Dark Confidant. Oh, cool. Love it. Love it when that happens. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be claving that guy. If you know what I'm saying. I need a green source. Oh no, a white source. We can't get a godless shrine so it's either a savannah i think it might just be a savannah which is fine because we have another black source here for like dothy void walker oh there's the savannah we wanted oh boy that's fun now we're having a good time No attacks. This mana crypt's looking awkward, though. I mean, double black, double black. We're, we have one color, colorless need, and it's it's more than taken care of by our our non-black lands. This is banned, right? Oh, interesting. Fascinating. They have one card left in hand. Weird. Let me get that Sun Titan. Oh my god, top deck Sun Titan would be insane, right? Rob does love a good Savannah. Is that Command not there? Oh my god, I can't believe that was good. that got wiped out in the Great Command wipe of like 2019 or something. You know, I'm half tempted to trade because they have one card and we have a ton of cards. And I just don't want them to get back in the game with this guy. Hey, that's interesting. Oh god, even if I draw my second card, this guy connives? Holy shit, that card is a... Wow, that's never... I've never seen that happen because I've never played against it or with it yet. That's wild. I mean, I like that we can just kill Ledger Shredder here. I mean, we do lose our Vraska, but... God, that picture of Rob is really something. Um,
The problem is like none of these really do anything. I guess this guy is good. Yeah, I mean, I wish I got a breeding pool now because then we could have Euroed. Uh, I, I don't like I don't like killing lands or, or moxes with that because they're just gonna get out of mana screw. It doesn't like like it's not really a great solution. Heads. Cool. Let's see what we hit before anything else, I guess. Oh, this guy doesn't actually hit anything. Never mind. Hits their face, I guess. So one, two, three, four. Are you gonna counter this? Sure. Fascinating. <sighs> Boy. Ledger Shredder. We should probably have killed the Ledger Shredder, I think. Like, it's just a good... It's just so good. I also should have played this pre-combat, but they, they probably would have just bounced that. Maybe that would have been better. A lot of this comes with my unfamiliarity with like the newer cards because I haven't actually played with them a ton. And it's a lot different when you're just reading cards. I actually kind of just want to block here. I mean, we're at we're going to go to 9. Cool. Lost again. Doing well. <laughs> Oh, interesting. We got a Chandra here. Um, I'm honestly tempted to play Ledger Shredder with this. player has their second spell each turn. I guess that was my, like my third spell. Okay. That's funny. And I do like that we can sack our Mana Crypt of Vraska if we survive. So they have one card in hand, which means they need a land and the Inferno Titan to cast Inferno Titan. And that's kind of one of my bigger fears. Okay, that's good. They're not going to let us do that though, are they? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna... Lost three in a row. Cool. <laughs> well, there's a Sun Titan, actually. That could be worse. Uh, let's actually use two. Well, let's let's add two two white for that. And also, okay, we'll just play the planes. One, two, three, four. Because we can always get back a card. Um, we're probably what are we getting back here? Euro. I think it's euro. I think we just need a life because otherwise we actually might die next turn. And we get to loot 
with Shreddy. It's called Conniving. Oh, I actually kind of do want that. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll put the land. Oh, we're not conniving because we didn't cast anything. Never mind. I don't know how anything works. <laughs> it's just, just ignore me, please. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass here, and hopefully we get one more turn. Okay. Oh, thank God. We won the flip. Everybody's everybody's having a good time. I think we're actually okay now. Alright, let's get rid of Knight's Whisper, Veraska, Dark Confidant. It's three, four. Yeah, get rid of Misty. I don't feel like we're gonna. I feel like this is probably good for us. Nah, I'm good. And... I guess it's just Gix here, right? Okay. Definitely pitching that. I guess we could have like gotten a Jitte next turn. I don't know. It's hard to evaluate all the things that are happening and I feel like we're kind of ahead now, but. Oh, uh, I didn't attack with Sun Titan because I just cast it last turn. <laughs> oh, so I'm an idiot, I see. <laughs> no, it's hard to tell. Like, it's a very subtle, like, like this little summoning sickness logo is, and this is also kind of like a white and yellow card, so it's not super easy to. Yeah, you can have your 1-1 one, one and that's the end. That's all you're getting. Oh man, one two, killing it. Look at all these doodads we got here. I'm just going to start taking your, your artifacts now. I'll do a one. Uh, I'm not going to draw here. I'm just like being way paranoid right now, but that's okay. So we can go one, two. Yeah, you're right. They have no cards in hand. Uh, that we could have done that. I just didn't. Uh, I'm mostly just having fun now. So. Could have also kicked that. I just don't even care. I'm just really like. You got it.
Fascinating. Man, Oko and Sun Titan, what a combo. That was a, was a decent win. Uh, see, now they played a Mox and and a Gruul Signet, and I'm like, okay, maybe the Lauren comes back in. So, you know, round and round we go. Take out Snuff out. <clears throat> I feel like they don't have a ton of creatures that we really want to spend four life to kill, and I should have brought him to three and then just let the crypt finish the job. Actually, this hand's really good. Huh. Beautiful. A Bayou here would be insane because it lets us play Oko and Liliana with double black and blue and green. Heretic Ritual into Chandra. That's fascinating. Huh. That still does it. Uh, I do want to play a black here, though, so I can play a library. Because if we get another black, I want to definitely kill this Chandra ASAP. ASAP Rocky. Inferno Titan? Glory Bringer. Fascinating. Well, we're at 12 already. Oh, that's good. This gets Bayou. Um, but I want to keep the Apparition, too. So we go to eight, then we go to six, then we go to five. <laughs> Is that where we want to be? Yeah, probably. We're going to Murderous Rider this guy, then Skyclave Apparition this guy, right? How far behind are we right now? Glorybringer is easily our biggest issue. We cannot Apparition it. We could Thief of Crowns it, make it a 3-3. Three, three. Actually might be fine. This is not the Liliana that's going to make them sack Noble Phoenix. Yeah, I'm thinking Oko the Glorbringer is probably safer than paying four here. It's gonna buy you. Wait. Yeah, next turn we can Murderous Rider the Chandra. It looks like they're missing land drops. So getting rid of their Chandra should take care of some. Uh, 
Now oh, they got a signet out of it. That's pretty good. Doesn't give them blue, though, which I think is what they need. Going face. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, land, huh? That's pretty good. That explains your face technique. I don't like any of these, really. <sighs> well, we have to kill this. Unfortunately. And then we can make a food. Play a breeding pool and hope they don't just play Inferno Titan here, which they very well might. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Cool. Well, that was fun. I feel like our deck is good enough. I just feel like we were kind of slow there because we didn't draw Mana Crypt or Sol Ring, <laughs> and our opponent did. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Turn one fetch land is almost always try land. And it, it's kind of good that way. And then we immediately get a bitter, bitter blossom. I think I... Did we 3-0 with the previous versions, come on? Because that's wild. And now I feel like I ruined the streak. Dang. Double 3-0? Triple 3-0? I don't even know how many times we've done this. Turns out I dealt myself a little too much damage. <laughs> oh man, two wins will still be legit. Don't jinx it. It's so funny that I made my screen name back when you can have spaces. So I'm like Frank Space Lepore. And like nowadays you can see like that you're not able to and it's like just underscores instead. Uh, we'll always yield to this. I don't think we're at any point where we really need to. That's not bad. Let's get a tomb down. Get that double black rolling. Are you naming Vanto? Yes, you are. Well, all right then. I hope when we draw Lauren of the third path so we can get rid of this. Well, we can go to the Revoker, but I was thinking of getting rid of the Signet here. I have a favorite flavor text. I mean, I'm sure I do, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Selfless spirit. Mm. 
Let's get a Jitte right off the top. It's close to a Jitte, I guess. We could also metamorph the Revoker and name Orzov Signet. You know, for fun. I do not, however, think that's a, a good play. How tragic that greed eclipses beauty. That's a good, wow, that's a good, yeah, that's a good flavor text. Okay, I guess we're facing the Signet deck. History of Banalia. That's like four Bitter Blossom triggers. All right, lands, we get it. <laughs> I understand. Uh, we're gonna attack with one because I'd like to double block this knight. I feel like we're just gonna get steamrolled if we don't. Then we have double blue, double green now, so if we if we hit that Euro. I guess it might even be worth attacking with Vanguard right now, because it gets rid of one of these three slash four creatures that they have. Well, I guess we can copy them, actually. That's pretty good. I might just let it roll through, to be honest, because then it... If we block, they're getting counters, and they can finish off our remaining creatures. Yeah, that's bad. It's no good. One, two, three, four, five. If we draw a Lorne of the third path, that'd be sick, because then we can kill the Jitte, copy the Jitte, and then equip the Jitte. They did not attack? What? Well, that's... That's a shame. Not for us, of course, but... You a small motherfucker, that's right. Yeah, they're just going to block and sack. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's still not terrible for us. All right. Jitte, 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 jitte.
I think we have a lot of good cards in our deck. I just don't know where they are right now. Look at all your knights. With all your knights. Just these two, huh? Well, I'm just going to block one. With a GTA. I guess we don't have to do anything right now, so... Oh, that's a good, that's a good hit. Um, try to do this. No? Okay. I understand. Fizzles. Try to do this. Is that going to fizzle? Oh, that, that worked. Okay. Well, now we're just living the dream here. The Jitte dream. We're not going to risk it with a Vanguard here. Hmm. Oh, you're giving us four, huh? That's pretty good. One, two. We have one counter, huh? Kill this guy. This guy becomes a 4-4, four, four, but we just want them to use the counter. Because then we still get to keep one counter, and then we get to play Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, they just let it happen. Fascinating. Okay, sure. <coughs> Hold on while I die. <coughs> Okay, we're good. Just went down the wrong pipe a little bit. Uh, all right, we're doing okay. Why did they put the air hole next to the drink hole? Take the snuff out, bring in Liliana. He's having a good time. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. I do kind of like Vraska. She's another way to kill their stupid Jitte. Which is very good against us. But we also have Lauren and Skyclave. 
<clears throat> and Oko. Oko gets rid of a Jitte. Metamorph did a good job getting rid of that Jitte. And by getting rid of, you know. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting one. Oh, let's see. Let's see this. This Urza saga in action. Oh man, I love that Soaring single handedly activates this twice and gives us two three threes. Wow. That is impressive. Did you not want to play Jit uh, on turn one? Yeah, I probably did. I don't, I don't know why I didn't do that. Actually, I'm not smart. I think I got overwhelmed by this. I was like, oh my god, Urza Saga, and I get to cast the Soul Ring, and then I forgot I could actually use the Soul Ring. I'm sorry. This is terrible. Uh, sometimes it's just one of those days, you know. Yeah, I've definitely been out of sorts today in general. I woke up and I was a little discouraged because of my job hunt. Um, still not sure what's going on and have a ton of applications out, you know? So it's kind of like, I was a little discouraged and I was just kind of like down on myself. Oh, a little mentor. <clears throat> I think this is going to be the end of the game. Unless they have the sweet, sweet sound of Mana Tithe here, which would be very good. They did not. So we're going to attack for eight. Does that sound good? Probably. And by eight, I meant four, because not all creatures have haste. That's not how Magic the Gathering works. That's a little joke I like to play. <laughs> eight? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, man, now my throat's all tickly. Uh, you're voting for this. Interesting. She don't even do anything right now. What do you what do you think? Heads? Sounds good. Want it. Attack for ten with the Jitte. <clears throat> it's what's for dinner. And darn confidant for the little rubbins. We could have metamorphed like a soul ring and dealt two more damage, but come on. That's silly. Temporary lockdown. That's pretty good. Do I get my things back when this goes away? Okay. They have one card, huh? Lauren. Misty Rainforest. That was pretty good. You literally hit four good cards, huh? Well. I also didn't use the counters to gain life because... Well, you know, reasons. Fascinating. I guess we'll just get Breeding Pool with that. It's sad because Metamorph can't even copy anything. He doesn't even have any friends. Oh, you can copy Grip Bottolith. That's true. Oh, that's a copier. That's a copy and a shoot. Copy and a shoot. Cop, copy and a shoot. Let's go get a, I guess, what we say? Uh, actually, Overgrown 2. We want the second black source. We already have two blue and two green. Hmm. <laughs> no, we want a bone shards here. Um, 
One, two, three, four. Hey, beautiful. Discard card. Pay a black. <clears throat> now it is I who has the hero of the blade hold. So now they got one turn to find an answer or, <clears throat> or die. <laughs> I mean, Hero Blade Hold's pretty good. Let's see. He's like, maybe they, maybe he stacks the battle cry triggers incorrectly because he's a friggin' idiot. Uh, battle cry goes on the bottom. And he's like, oh, he didn't. Oh, you're going to do something. Fascinating. <clears throat> so you're going to go to two, is what you're saying. So you're going to go to four is what you're saying. Uh, one, one. No, I honestly think like Elspeth, Sun's Champion is better, like... I think this card's really good. I don't think it's the best, but maybe I'm... Maybe I'm crazy. How is everything going? Also, why? Why play all the colors except the one you love most? Oh, man. <clears throat> That's hilarious. You're right. I am actually playing everything but red. That's <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, man. Oh god, what is this? Oh. Alright, I just win the game then. Okay. We had a good time. <clears throat> well. Well, I think we're talking about mono white walkers. Because I also think three minute Teferi might be better than five minute Teferi, if that's the case. One time during standard, I double blocked Hero of Blade Hold. It died, and I put it under Mimic Fat. Next time I played Parallel, I oh Jesus, oh God, that's disgusting. Because you make two copies of the hero, then each hero makes four copies, so you'd have eight tokens and two heroes. How much damage is that? Okay, so we have hero, hero, soul, soul. Soul, 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 <coughs> soul, soul, soul. <coughs> Heroes are each going to battle cry each other, so they're four. Soldiers get our three each, I believe. So is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 24, 32 damage. Is that correct? That sounds correct, but what do I know? Sometimes when you start adding uh, multipliers and powers of X, it gets much more confusing than it should. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Not the worst. Could use a white source, but right now, I think we just get a couple plays. Fascinating. Why do they put the air hole and the other hole so close? Okay. What's it gonna be? 
Well, it's less weird when you have all this nonsense going on. Now it's Larian Academy to take advantage of it, so. <laughs> oh. Yep. <clears throat> well, that was fun. So when they untap, they get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They get seven mana. It's a lot. Oh, good. Of course, where would you be without the Urza, you know? <clears throat> I think we're... I, I feel like we're scooping at the Urza. So, three out of six of the people in, in these three rounds, including myself... They had three of the... Three of the four people, I guess. In, uh in the rounds I've played have had soul ring 75% soul ring me and, and my three opponents. <clears throat> I'm just going to spin the wheel here. Amisha's factory. Got it. Glad you played that Island before activating Mishra, but I guess you had to, I don't know. And by Mishra, I mean Urza. I don't know what's going on. You got Mishra's workshop, Urza over here. You got the brothers war going on. Magic is out of control. I guess they didn't have to. They could have just tapped Smokestack. They didn't have to play the island. They could have tapped the Smokestack. And they didn't have to tap Winter Orbot to give us our lands back either. So that's kind of weird. I'm actually tempted to play Urza here, but... I don't think it's great for us. Yeah, I don't think it def I don't think it cost them the game by any means, but <clears throat> Shadow, do you mean horsemanship? Oh, you mean flying? Okay. I do remember banding. Wow. They're doing well for themselves. <clears throat> I'm really glad, you know. Get in there. It's a three turn clock. What what do you got to lose?
Okay. Get busy sooting. I'll sacrifice Skyclave Shade and Swamp here. I feel like I should have just played that untapped and taken the two. <clears throat> All right, really going deep here on the on the smokestack. It's I see. I mean, we're going to sack three lands, and then they're going to sack three things. And then they kind of have to... Wait, really? I guess you're going to play something this turn. You didn't play anything. <clears throat> Fascinating. I guess I shouldn't have played that. That was kind of silly. I, I don't think the game, I don't think it matters, maybe. If I make an Urza, <clears throat> we have three things. This, this, and this. No, we just have one, two. We have four things. But we can take them to one. What does that do? I mean, it gives us a lot more time, doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I wish I held that land. That was that was that was bad. I do think they're they gotta they gotta sacrifice the smokestack here, right? Maybe they give it one more turn, but I'm not gonna have anything, so. <clears throat> Wow, that's... So, <clears throat> we can sack this guy, put Urza and something else into play. Why are they? That's weird that they're still playing things. Do we have anything in their graveyard that can deal one damage to them? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sacrifice for each soot counter. So. You would play it this turn. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh wow, this is really strong. <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna win this game? Because now they have to sacrifice every permanent they have and we have two creatures on board with them at one life. This is insane if we win after this opening that they had. <clears throat> Load a bunch of mana during your upkeep. I don't know, that sounds weird to me, but. Okay, you got all your mana. Oh, you just did nothing with it, got it. <laughs> Why bother? I don't know. I guess because it's cute. Oh my god, how did you lose this game? <sighs> Braska, you're coming in. Snuff out, you're going away. Wow. That's utterly insane. 
Yeah, Dothy Voidwalker, what an MVP, dude. I'm glad I brought them to one instead of three, because if we brought them to three, they'd still have like two more turns. I don't know if that mattered, man. But still... I wish I had more things that killed artifacts. What do you do? Non-creature, non-land permanent with mana value two or less. That does kill Winter Orb, which is nice. Also, Thalia seems great here as well. So we're going to bring those two in. This is interesting. <clears throat> I'll keep it, but I don't love it. But then again, based on last round, I feel like our luck is, is probably run out. I will also play a beautiful tower. I did think that about Blossom. I was like, well, if we just get to slam a Blossom, like I don't know what they do against that. Plus, Skyclave Apparition deals with a lot of problems. <clears throat> like Winter Orb or Smokestack, things like that. And it doesn't seem like they have a ton of ways to get rid of it. Tinker. Tinker wouldn't make any sense. Oh, we're definitely getting rid of that. Oh my god, if we win this game, I'm going to be shocked. Goodbye, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys want to support the channel, definitely check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to get like six to 10 meals for 30 to 40 bucks. It's, it's kind of an insane value. A lot of the people in the chat either already have HelloFresh or can vouch for it. So definitely check it out. There's a promo code above. You get eight, no, I keep saying eight, 21 free meals for your first eight deliveries, plus also free shipping. So it's, it's a great, it's a great way to support the channel and you're also getting food out of it as well. So, um, I think we're just playing Knight's Whisper Adanto Vanguard here. I think I just want to get more pressure on the board. Wow. Wow, Tom. Uh, huh. Adanto Vanguard. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, an Urza Saga. <clears throat> That's nice. Actually, let's not F6. I don't know what they... They could have like a Wrath of God or a Damnation or something, so... Yep. Look at all these artifacts that you had. Those don't impress me much. Eight mana, huh? Sundering Titan would be brutal here. I guess I could block it for... Oh, Jesus Christ. I had HelloFresh, but then I split with my girlfriend, and now my flatmates have HelloFresh, and I can't get it sent to the same address. That sounds terrible. Oh my god, dude. Not sure how we actually come back from this. This is actually pretty brutal. I guess we try to go Bitter Blossom into Euro. So they have Island, 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 Tower, <clears throat> Power Stone, Metal Worker. No, they don't get Metal Worker back. There's the power stone. <clears throat> oh, good. Thank goodness I have not drawn my, uh, you know, mana crypt or soul ring because that would be too, too, too easy. One, two, three, four. 
Actually, maybe not. Oh, I can't. I can't change it. Once you click it, you can't change it. Sorry. I mean, again, it's like a situation where, like, they still have to win, you know? And we get to go Bitter Blossom into, like, Euro or Skyclave Apparition. Well, that's pretty good. And we can just exile that with Skyclave Apparition, though. I guess we want to do that before we play Euro, because then they just get to eat Euro. Man, Winter Orb, Smokestack, and <clears throat> Upheaval. Talk about your most miserable, miserable choices. Or of an island. So now they have two islands in hand and three other cards, huh? So now we can safely Euro, put another card into play. We can put Urza's Saga into play. That sounds like a, a good time. Yeah, we're at a point where I'm just <clears throat> chump blocking this. Hmm. So I guess we go blue. <laughs> I can hear Watson upstairs yelling his head off. And actually, I'm just going to put in a Swamp to play the Skyclave. But that won't keep me warm in the middle of the night. That don't impress on me much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine mana. That's a lot. And only one island that I know about. There's a lot of lands. Uh, not thrilled with the amount of lands we have. No, sir, I don't like it. Their biggest threat is the creature we gave them, so that's kind of funny. Oh, getting a skull clamp here seems amazing. Uh, I don't necessarily want to put Skyclave Apparition in my graveyard just to feed it to Euro because we do have Sun Titan, which is also good. And giving them a 2 2 instead of a 3 3 is only like marginally better. Yeah, that's fine. See, now I'll block that guy though because it's preventing a lot more damage. Oh, they didn't even attack. Let's see what we draw before we decide to. A swamp. Fantastico. Do 
Dude, Urza Saga is just unbelievably good. That don't impress me much. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. See what we got? Thalia. That's interesting. Okay, I'll Thalia here. Right as rain. Okay, and that's all they needed to see. So after an upheaval, a winter orb, a smokestack, we still win. 2-1, not too bad. Kabalan, thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. I hope we did enough damage to ourselves to uh, justify that step. And check out HelloFresh, guys. It's a great way to support the channel. Like, it's an unbelievably great way to support the channel. Like, the, the amount of kickback they give me for each subscription, up to 50, is unreal. Um, but... Yeah, thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe or follow. Uh, I So have we done this three or four times? Or I thought it was, or two or three times, or four times? Is this the fourth time or the third time? I don't know. But either way, it's been good every time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.